welcome back to the channel guys today i'm making a video for a 1999 sterling 2000 sterling 2004 sterling up to mac 1988 right up until 20 till up to about 2021 so basically what happened is this if you have your truck and your truck is blowing heat and you're not blowing ac then you have one of three problems okay so today i'm gonna show you the problems where it's all start from because the mac exp ex um, especially the sterling the sterling wire diagram run across the manifold right so this is the manifold here so 90 percent of the time this wire right here can literally touch the mat touch the manifold or if it's not properly um, casing or shield the heat from the manifold will, will literally scotch the wire so as you can see these wires are here they're all scotch so i'm replacing all of these wires as you can see i'm replacing the wires look i'm replacing the wires so they are scotch so i am changing all the wires because what happened is this that's the reason why the compressor for the ac won't come in because there's a shortage between the wires here so you see i move my wires come all the way here take it all down take it all down all of it i'm rewiring the whole ac unit you know me already do it my way this is my way so i pull all the sensors out i pull all the sensors out and then now i am changing all these wires and run my own wire right so what you're gonna need to rewire your truck if you do have a truck like me you're gonna need a spool and this is 14 gauge you need 14 gauge to carry the pressure of the compressor all right so now we come around here to the compressor so this is the ac compressor all right so that's the compressor right here that's the compressor so basically the problem that you're having right now there's no power coming to this feed to this feed so what i'm gonna do as i hear this is jumping so what i'm doing i'm taking the current from here all the way back there so i'm not gonna put a switch what i'm gonna do, i'm gonna put a circuit so you can put a switch if you want to put a switch or you can put a circuit but what i'm gonna do i'm gonna set mine in a way where i take a wire from here I take a wire from here all the way to the back with the original current so even if i'm having a shortage in between the compressor will still get the, the full amount of power that it needs to kick the compressor okay all right now so now we're already done for the sterling so this is for the sterling all right so now we're coming to the sterling again and also i'm gonna show you the same definition for the mac okay so this is the sterling before you start working on the truck, please remove this. This is the blower motor, okay? So the blower motor is located inside here. This is where you find the blower motor, inside here. So you will move one, two, three bolts. And you take that out. If ever your, your blower motor is not working, guys, do not waste time to just change, change just the, 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 the motor inside. Change the whole unit because this here is a unit and if you change just the blower inside there's a possibility that the motor will gone all right now for the 88 mac up to 04 this mac here you will find this on the passenger side of the mac passenger side with this facing down while sterling has it on the on the firewall on the passenger side firewall this would be inside the mac facing down right so now this here is the main problem that sterling has when you're not getting no ac do not waste your time to change everything that you don't know what you're changing change this this is called a resistor right so if the resistor is not working you won't get no ac okay and also check your wiring diagram to make sure that if the ac is working and it's not blowing then this is what you need to change this is called a resistor you change this thing here it has two bolts two 10 
millimeter bolt you pull it and you change the resistor and if you're gonna change everything change the whole blower and the resistor okay all right and then now for the compressor if you know your compressor is working and everything is good with your compressor put direct current to it if it doesn't if it doesn't clutch that means something is wrong with the compressor but this is 99 percent problem for sterling and mac so if you drive a sterling or you drive a mac and you're not getting any ac this is the first thing you need to change your resistor okay all right guys please give me a thumbs up on the video like the video also follow me on youtube and also follow me on instagram at nnbchucking.com all right that's it whatever you know what i mean so you can find me all right and thank you guys so much please subscribe to the video and this video is not for somebody I already know this video is for somebody that has a truck and you're not getting no ac all right thanks for your time guys